first time. I never heard of it.
it's on Going for a walk To my soul so Gonna have a talk Talk for myself Talk for my soul What myself say Lord, I'm heaven over I'ma keep on walking To the same time Got my boots on Yeah Going downtown Thinking of you Take my pen out Write a line or two Singing my song Sing for my soul What my soul say Lord, I'll never know But I'm gonna keep on walking To the same song Got my boots on
out of New York in the tents.
hello, come on in, clap more. What is this shit? You guys are ridiculous. How's everybody doing tonight? Alright, uh, I originally had something planned that I was going to talk about, but I was distracted several times tonight. Uh, first of which, where's Billy? Where's Billy Dodaro? Billy Dodaro! Billy, say hi to, say hi to Billy Dodaro back there, everybody. Billy Dodaro, that's fair. Billy Dodaro looks like the guy that grew up in Munster and then and then transferred to Gavit in junior year and is just trying to fit in really hard right now. And if you don't know where Gavit is, I'm pretty sure it's in Hammond. Uh, all right, well, there was the joke there because I like the do-rag. You're doing great, Billy. Uh, then who is that guy that you guys were sitting with earlier? What does he do? Well, of course he's a financial advisor. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this table will forever be known as the table that hates giving welfare to, welfare to people that need it. Uh, so, just <laughs> just looking at Kenny, he just looked at me with a straight face, not smile, like, yeah, you're damn right, I don't like giving welfare to people that need it. I want to see dead children as much as possible. Uh, so we talked about my type last week. Does anybody remember what my type was? Married women. Married women, it's true. So I'd like to tell you guys a story uh, that revolves around my, my like and love of married women, if you don't mind. Can I do that? All right, well, Stephen said yes, so I guess that's, that's good enough for me. Thanks, buddy. Uh, okay, first off, are there any veterans in here? Really? You served. Did anyone have sex with your wife while you were off? Well, I still feel like I, <laughs> I'm going to skip past that one, actually, so thanks for that. I appreciate it. Uh, all right. I'm going to set the scene. I was going to Purdue. It was sophomore year of college. It was a really hot TA, and her name was Christina, okay? I usually don't like that name for a lot of reasons. I don't like the name, but she was my TA. She was in college. Her name was Christina. And I... Uh, I noticed that she had taken a liking to me. She had taken a liking to me. <laughs> Bless you. And she had just like that little seeds of flirtatiousness, right? So I just went all in and basically had a relationship with my TA, which was wonderful because that was a requisite class and I needed to get a B to pass it. And like, I feel like if you're banging your student, you're going to give them at least a B. You know what I mean? Like there's an agreement there. So long as you have an orgasm, I should, get, I should be able to get a B out of that. I think that's just fair. Uh, I found out, because we didn't do much talking, that she was married and had a child. Uh, and her husband was a collegiate weightlifter. Um, and I got to tell you, I got confronted by it. And let me tell you, you, know, you may not believe me when I say that I'm a good person after telling you that I banged some chick uh, that was married. But I'm going to tell you how good of a person that I am. Uh, I was confronted by that man. Uh, they, the whole family saw me walking down Main Street in Lafayette, and he approached me as if to whip my ass. Rightfully so. You should do that. Like, if you find the guy that was banging your wife, you should beat them up, right? Uh, and he did that. Uh, he absolutely did that. Uh, and I did not fight back. And he got very, very confused because I, I was exposed to a lot of fighting sports when I was growing up. Uh, what, what are some of your like, Reese, what's your favorite fighting sport? No favorite sport. Does anyone have a favorite fighting <laughs> sport? Boxing, right, okay. Everybody loves boxing. Everybody loves the UFC. Everybody loves MMA. Uh, I was a fan of two fighting sports, specifically when I was growing up. Uh, the WCW and the WWE. Uh, so I, here I am, just thinking that even this fight from this guy uh, that wants to beat my ass for having intercourse with his wife. And... So I walked up to him and I put my head on his shoulder and I just like did the like tough guy thing and I'm like, hey, if you wanna you wanna rough me up a little bit since you're in front of your kid, I'll let you get away with it. Uh, which apparently is not something that you should say to somebody when they're gonna actually beat your ass. Uh, and I don't remember much after that point, but what I'm saying is I let a collegiate weightlifter whip my ass for having sex with his wife. So you're welcome, America. I'm a wonderful human being. Thank you. I deserve that. Sex wasn't even that good. You guys ready for your first comic? Yeah. All right. 
everybody knows this next comic. Uh, we haven't measured yet, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's the, the third largest genitalia of all the comics that come here to the Market Lounge and Comedy Club, uh, behind Mike Banks and Billy Dodaro. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Gerard Moxley. Jeff tried to have sex with my girlfriend and then uh, realized that we weren't married. And he was like, nah. <laughs> I was like, no, we're done here. You guys aren't married? You don't have a ring on? Have you guys seen the, the, we've all seen the video of the cougar that's chasing the hiker recently? Maybe? I don't know. Um, it's, it's very strange that the guy decided to just, his first thought was film. Like, that's that's kind of our, as generationally, we're kind of fucked when there's a mountain light lion chasing you, and you decide first thought is filming. Because my first thought would be like, dude, let's get the fuck out of here. Do I have a gun? Is there a knife? What's going on here? This guy's like, no. No, no, no. I gotta get this shit. On the internet. I have to fucking, hey, uh, hey, guy, hey, uh, hey, hey, nice mountain lion. Like, this guy's filming, he could be filming his own demise. I mean, he's flipping a coin at this point. If, is this thing gonna kill me and I'm gonna get the coolest selfie ever? Or, or am I, or am I gonna get away with this shit and end up on CNN? I mean, he won that flip coin toss, but. I mean, it might not have gone that way. Like, he could have been, like, n like, fucking teeth on the neck, and he's just like, this is, this is, uh, I'm, right? <laughs> the guy was in danger. Sorry, an old man told me to say that. So I did. did it. You guys ready to get spooky? Because it's spooky season, right? You guys ready to get spooky? All right, all right, okay. You don't got to get spooky with me because I'm about to get spooky with you. <laughs> Vampires. They have, to, they have to prefer having sex on their periods. <laughs> right? Of course they do. And I think I figured out how we can coexist with vampires right now. They just drink period blood. They don't have to kill people. Hear me out. You think I'm disgusting, but I'm saving fucking lives here, and I'm also recycling at the same time. I'm green and red. Look, guys. Vampires are running about. There's blades out there. There's halves and halves. 